Hey, what's up guys? My name is Paul and today I'm gonna show you how to delete files, pictures, videos of your Mac computer completely without leaving any trace. Most people delete their files and pictures by going to Finder. I'm gonna take, or let's say I'm gonna take this file off my desktop and I'm gonna drag it to trash. Then I'll go to trash and I click empty. But we're not gonna do that today because that does not completely delete files of your computer. It kind of deletes them, but it compresses them. And it still stores some, stores some data on your hard drive. So later on, it's gonna start causing uh, issues with your memory. I'm gonna show you a very simple command line how you can delete files, pictures, and videos of your computer. And it'll remove everything completely. Let's go to your applications, utilities folder, Terminal app. If you don't already have terminal app in your dock, you can just drag it and put it there. Since I have it there, I'll click on it. Once you open your terminal, you'll see this. There's only a couple of things they all need to type, a few letters. RM space hyphen RF space. You don't need to type anything else. Now you can just drag and drop files, folders, pictures, videos into your terminal window and then click return and it'll delete everything. So let's say, let's go to downloads. I have this cascade head hike with a bunch of videos. I can either drag one video at a time or I can actually grab the whole folder and drag it into the terminal window. Here it shows you the path of this file once you did that, click return, bam, and that completely removes it off your computer. I put a bunch of stuff into trash, because sometimes it's easy, you know, not having to go to your terminal every single time you want to delete something off your computer. You can still trash it, and once you put something in the trash, it still stays in your computer, but in the trash folder. So let's click on trash, and I have a bunch of different files here in trash that I have removed from my computer. What I would do then, I would type in rm hyphen rf space, and I can either select all folders and files in the trash by click uh, doing command A, or I can just drag them one at a time. Let's say I drag this one. I hit return and it deletes out of my computer forever. If I want to take all of them, I can just select them all. First I need to type in rm hyphen rf space, select all files and folders, drag them into the window, and click return. wait for it, see how everything was emptied out of my trash folder. Now nothing, absolutely nothing. And if you want to clear this terminal window after you have done, after you're done deleting all the files and folders, you can just do command K and it'll clear it back to nothing. So it's not, it doesn't look cluttered. It's very simple, remember. Command line is rm space hyphen RF space and now you can just start dragging as many folders and files and videos and pictures as you want in there as soon as you're done click the return button and I'll remove it but let's say if you have something on your iCloud and it's not necessarily on your computer it's not downloaded directly into your computer if that folder is on the iCloud it's gonna tell you this folder cannot be deleted so you might want to go back to your trash or to that folder and actually click download and download that file the picture that video onto your computer and then drag it into terminal uh, window and delete it that way because it cannot delete something that is not local on your computer and sometimes you might be deleting a file and that file has special permissions you can't just delete it like that uh, once you type in rmrf hyphen rf and you put in the folder you're going to click return it might ask you for a password it'll just be a word password 
and you just have to type in your password that you use for your computer to log into your computer. Once you type in your password, click enter and it's gonna delete that folder. Guys, I hope this was, uh, this was helpful and if you have any questions, just comment and I'll answer any of your questions. Thank you.